One week until Election Day, we're breaking down some of the questions Missourians will be seeing on the ballot. Missourians will be voting on whether to raise minimum wage in the state indefinitely. Our Missouri Capitol reporter Hannah Falcon spoke with business leaders about the impact that could have on the economy. If you walk into Pasta La Fada in Colombia, you hear Italian music over the speakers, smell the sauce cooking, and see a young worker making fresh noodles. The brick and mortar restaurant is the dream come true of owner Michelle Lafada. I am building this brand and this company knowing that I'm building a team of people. That team of employees is important to Lafada. That's why she tells me she supports the Missouri proposition to raise the minimum wage and require paid sick leave. It will make people feel very valued and that People who are working in minimum wage positions probably don't feel valued. This election, Missourians are voting on Proposition A. A yes vote on this question means you're agreeing to several things. Increasing the minimum wage from $13 to $15 over the course of two years. Allowing that increase to continue in 2027 and beyond based on the consumer price index. Requiring all employers to offer one hour of paid sick leave for every 30 hours worked and giving the Department of Labor oversight for enforcing these new laws. There are exemptions built in for government employers and those working in public or private education. Missouri currently has the 16th highest minimum wage in the country. If Prop A passes, Missouri could move up to the ninth highest minimum wage, on par with states like New York and Colorado. The end result when you vote for Proposition A will be that you're, you're literally saying, we would like to raise all of our prices at every on all goods and services in the state of Missouri. Buddy Law so with right. Missouri Restaurant Association stands against Prop A. He says this would lower profits for the state's 217,000 private employers and lead to cuts or even places going out of business. The cost that it's going to put onto the employer, the small business employer, the under 15 employers is going to be dramatic. This is going to force layoffs. Wall is also concerned that some people would abuse the sick leave policy, leading to added stress. Lafada tells me she likes the sick leave policy in Prop A so much that she plans to implement it whether it passes or not. In my experience, when I pay people more and they feel valued, they, we have a lower turnover rate. The Associated Industries of Missouri tells me they are considering legal action if this does pass. They say it violates the single subject rule because it deals with both minimum wage and paid sick leave. Reporting in Jefferson City, I'm Hannah Falcon, KY3 News.